Hi, my name is Peter McTavish and welcome back to another DCG tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to do a long question from section B and it's the 2012 paper and question B2. So this is an intersection of solids question. Uh, read through the questions, here we go. Draw the plan elevation of the pyramid. So let's do that first. Now I'm going to keep to the right hand side of the page so we have room for auxiliary view to the left and I'm going to start off with a bit of the plan so that I know I definitely have enough room up top. Okay, so let's start over here. And the heights were 60 and 60. Also there's a scale but it's one is to one so all the measurements are fine. 60 and 60, let's draw those across, draw the middle one across, I know That one's just there. And we have 20 mil out to the left here. We don't know the measurement to the right yet, but let's do this first. So 20 mil. That's the point, and we need that up in the elevations. Let's draw that straight up. Now let's put in our XY line nice and close to the plan so that we don't have to worry about. Uh, run a room up top. And let's start our elevation. So our elevation was starting from this point here. And the 20 over and it's up 130 mil. So let's measure up 130 mil. That's our point here. So they join together from here to there. Our base is inclined at 30 degrees. Let's go over here, 30 degrees. And the height up for that point was 60 mil. So if I measure up 60 mil and draw a line across lightly, that'll give me my point here. So I've just joined them back. Now this all kept lightly because you're going to have to go over strong at the end. So that was the end here. So if I bring that point down to the plan, I can finish off the plan of that prism. Okay, double check. So that is plan and elevation of that print done. So that's part A done. Next, B, the an equilateral triangular prism of 65 mil side penetrates the pyramid as shown. Draw the outline elevation of the plan of this triangle prism. Draw the outline elevation and plan, sorry. So 65 mil and it is going up at 20 degrees from a point that's 75 mil to the left over here. So let's measure over 75 mil. And it's on the XY line. So it's resting here. And we need to project up 20 degrees from that point. Here's our 20 degrees. And that's the angle of our new prism. Now look at the part of the question they've given you. Look at the elevation and the edge of the prism is going to be in line here with the edge of the original prism. So that means we can start our equilateral triangle anywhere out here on the right hand side. So I'm going to keep it nice and close to make sure I have room. So I'm just going to start it off right here look at the question from that point now it's inclined to 30 degrees so from there go up 30 degrees get 65 mil because that's the length of the side on your compass because once it's set you can use it for all the sides so the distance from my point to the 
point of the prism is 65 mil, so that's one edge done. And it's an equilateral triangle, so you can either go your 60 degrees or you can just mark out the length again in two arcs from either side to give you your other point here. So I'm just going to draw that in with a red marker so it stands out a bit. That now is our penetrating prism. I'm just going to label the points here. We'll label them A, B, and C. Now that was inclined 30 degrees, but this 20 degree angle is what you need to project all your points back down at. So let's set up our set squares. We want our 20 degrees. And we want to project down. You already have the line for A, so let's project down the lines for point C and point B. Now it said the last time that this is where it stops, so this is point A, this is point C, and this is point B. Let's find them down then on the left hand side. Looking at the question, we are going to measure in 30 mil from that first. So this is A down here, right down here, that's A. And we're going to measure in 30 millimeters. And draw that lightly straight up. And that will give you point B. And just by joining A to B, it will give you point C. And that's the angle of the cut there on the left-hand side. So that's point C. Now it said do the outline elevation and outline plan. So as you can see there, we have the outline elevation of the prism all done in light because we need to do the in penetration section in strong at the end. So to get the outline plan, check down your points. Check down A. C and B. Project down your line here which we already have so just extend it. They should give you a starting point in the plan. So they're telling you from this point here on the prism, go down 30 mil and give you your first line. Let's measure down 30 mil. Draw that lightly all the way across. Okay, so that's our first line on that ABC prism. To figure out the lengths down, this is very important now, to figure out the lengths down from that point to your next one, so this could be point A down to B and C, we have to work back up here on the true shape of the prism. So what I'm going to do is, it is projected at 20 degrees, you need to put in basically another X1, Y1 up here that is perpendicular to uh, the projection lines. Whichever line you hit first, so wherever our X1, Y1, whichever point it hits first, in this case A, will be your first line here, the closest line to the X, Y line. So this is point A on our right hand side, and this is point A on the left hand side. All right. To figure out now the distances down for the other two lines, what you need to do is find this distance here from the X1, Y1 up to your point. So we're actually in on the drawing there, ignore that, we'll go over it strong again. Distance from here to B will be the distance from A down to B. Distance from here to C will be distance down from A to C in plan. So get your distance from X1, Y1 back to your point. I'll just get my fingers out of the way and see. So from X1, Y1 to your point. Mark that down here in plan. And that's now point B. 
project it over to find B on the other side. And that is point P. Do the same for C. Get the distance from the X1, Y1 vertically straight up to C. So you should have those lines already. And mark that down from A. And that is point C. And project that over to the left hand side. So you don't guess the lengths. They must be found from that auxiliary view up on the right hand side. Okay. So that is part A and B done. And we're going to do part C in this video as well. And we're going to do, well, we'll do half of it. So we're going to do the left hand side here. We'll do the interpenetration for the left hand side. And the reason we're doing that is they seem to so far in the past couple of exam paper questions or past papers to give you one nice easy side and then a harder side. And what I mean by that is the left hand side here, this surface is that triangular surface here. And if you're seeing it as an edge view in elevation, point B stops here, point C stops there, point A stops there. Okay, there is no need for an auxiliary view or anything like that. Whereas the other side, you have two different surfaces and you don't know where they're going to stop. So let's finish off the left hand side here. So B is going to hit here, C hits here, and A hits there. Project them down to plan. This point is further to the left than any of them, so therefore this is strong line and the triangle in there is hidden detail. So let's finish off that left hand side and draw it in strong because I'm what you have to do next. Okay, so that is part A and B of the question done, and we have finished the left hand side of, actually we haven't finished left hand side, we must put this in, in detail as well, and I'm going to have to make another bloody mistake. So that line from A to C is in a vertical line, it is going at an angle. Okay, so you just join the points up as they were, A, B, C, in with hidden detail, and you extend your straight lines in to meet them as well, so you have a bit of hidden detail in here underneath. Okay, so that's part A, B, and half a C done. We're going to have to leave it there. In the next video, we'll move on to the right-hand side here, and we'll do the inner penetration for the right-hand side. So I hope that helped. If it did, leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Okay, thank you. And